Big O's Britta here, welcome back to Star Trucker. Here we are for another episode. Continuing it on. Um, what's that? Oh, it's our suit thing. Oxygen's low. Yeah, okay. Um, I've got a few things I want to go over as far as um, power cell status, the mag locks, and everything to try and save a bit of money. Um, with buying power cells and stuff all the time. Why is our cargo being knocked up? Gonna have to, oh, wrong button, oh, wrong button again. Um, yeah, now we should be able to get it from here. Just worried that I wasn't gonna be able to get it from here. A Little bit concerned that we weren't gonna make it. All right, all right, let's, yeah, let's not so much run into the bloody thing. I'm gonna have to try and come in, even if we don't come in at the right angle. Should still be able to get it attached, even from here. Bank, mag lock, done. Yeah, the trailer's already been damaged. That's weird. Right, exit seat. So at the moment, um, we look up here. What's wrong with you? The power cell is completely out. That's fine. We'll bring it down. Now we want to make sure these don't get damaged. Um, but if you've got the, all the ICCs in, that's fine. Alright, throw that into there. This has all the power cells, I believe. Yep, cool. Alright, I need to throw you down there. So, mouse still over the place. Our oxygen's only at 10%. I think we're going to be okay for now. Shut this this back there. Now, one thing I've learnt that if we go... All systems, maglock controls, leave them on because we need them. Oxygen we need. Suit we need. Climate regulator we will turn off. We'll save a little bit of power because I believe we're in a pretty good climate. Yeah. And the other thing is if you put these guys up in here, open both of these... Turn our gravity compensator off. These don't move. They get locked in there. They cannot come out. We don't need gravity. But there's no real reason to um have the gravity going or anything. So, alright, let's continue on. Where are we going? Look at the map. Um, we're going to Emerald Junction. So we're going to go to Medusa 6. I need to keep an eye on our oxygen levels. Now our mag locks definitely going to drain now because um, we have a trailer attached. We want to make sure that doesn't get down to zero. So another thing that the people have said is obviously turn all your lights off. Who cares? You don't need to. Turn the blower off so you save power that way. Um, gravity. If everything's in a cargo container behind us, like a little container, we don't need to worry about having gravity on. We can fly around the bloody truck. Who cares? That'll save power in our core batteries. Um, obviously, our gravity is at 0%, so that's not draining. Our oxygen's draining at 98%, so we may need to pull up somewhere when we head to Medusa 6. Uh, is there a highway up there? Yeah, there's a highway up there. Um, how the hell am I going to get to that highway? It's all the way over there. I may just have to skip the highway for there. Head towards Palmview Station, then we'll swing a left. So the oxygen is down to 7%. Now, if we change that out, there's still 10% battery in it. Don't throw your batteries away and, and do whatever. Throw them in to where your suit charger is. Get them down to zero and then sell your batteries. That's one way that you're going to save a little bit of money. Obviously, if we take it out now, we've still got 7% battery power in there. Right. There's no point in wasting that 7%. Throw it over into your suit, get your suit charged a little bit more. Um, once it's no longer charging, then you can take it out and sell it, get rid of it. Um, obviously, making money, we need to make sure we make money as, as good as we can so with having those containers as well not only are we going to be able to with for fuel halfway fuel um, turn the gravity off and lock them in there 
It's going to stop things from getting damaged, so you need to make sure you've always got stuff inside a container so nothing's getting damaged. Otherwise, if you're just leaving stuff floating around the ship, if you have an accident and hit someone like we did last episode, shit's going to go flying in the cab, stuff's going to get damaged, the value is going to get reduced quite a bit. So, really want to make sure that you don't lose value if you can avoid it. Still got a lot of scrap floating around out here, unfortunately. So once we get this delivered, I definitely want to go and make sure that we um, get some more cargo containers. Because if we stumble across some stuff out in space, I want to make sure I've got extra cargo containers so I can actually go and grab everything. That's the best way you're going to make money early on and avoid wasting money on... Um, power packs and all that sort of stuff having the ability to find the batteries that we need 4% oxygen so I'm getting a little bit concerned about that now so we'll head to Medusa 6 and then we'll fix up our oxygen right. do our jump make sure we don't stop as soon as we hit Medusa 6 we need to Security. Yeah, we don't have to worry about the security. Get out of the way. Get out of my way. Alright, so I need to pull over here somewhere. Thank you. Piss off. Um, Alright, let's just pull up just here somewhere. I want to pull up out of the way. So no one's going to come through and jump and absolutely destroy us. Slam into us. Alright, so our oxygen... That's our gravity. Where's our oxygen? Our mag lock's there. Oxygen's over there, okay. Right, so now we'll come over this way. Grab a battery out. That's got the most damage. We'll take this one. We'll get this... Make sure... So we've got no gravity, so we should be able to just drop that there. Actually... That's, yeah, that, ooh, the UCC's down as well. Alright, grab you. Throw that in. We can throw this over into here. We need to replace the UCC as well. Let's actually take you out of there. Right, grab that out. Grab that in. Shut that. Oh, that's our temperature control thing anyway. That's fine. Right, at least that'll drain... A little bit later. Is our suit 100%? Yeah, it is perfect. We don't need to worry about our suit charger anymore. Right. Jump back in the seat. Right. Head to Emerald Junction. Let's check behind us. Make sure there's no one. There's actually someone coming out. We should, we should be able to make it. Oop, wrong button. Get our speed going. Alright, so our suit, the power's at 2%. Uh, oxygen's now 66%. So what why it was draining more? Maybe there was less, oxy less oxygen. So now this is sitting at 125 degrees. So obviously we're going to start to burn up. If that happens, we'll have to turn our blower and everything back on. Um, cool, we'll turn our blower on low. But it's obviously turned off at the wall, so it's not going to make a difference. Alright, express gate over to Emerald Junction. So we should be able to get out before we get too hot, I'm hoping. Something's dinging in the background, not sure what's dinging. Alright, to Emerald Junction. Let's swing this way. Keep an eye on debris. I don't know what's dinging. Right, there's a little bit of... Oh, maybe it's a debris warning. Alright, let's head up. We could have went either gate, I believe, here. We didn't have to go to the one that was marked, but... Alright, slow it down. 
the brake on. Boom, let's jump. Head back to Emerald Junction. Alright, where's our delivery point? 3.6k is over there. Oh, something's still beeping. Oh, the temperature, okay. Is that a big issue though? Really? Alright, need to watch out for debris here. Needs to be a decent amount of debris. Yeah, the temperature's certainly beeping at me like it's a big issue, but I don't think it's that bad. I mean, it's hot, but... Is it that bloody hot? Sixty-one or sixty-eight, so yeah, it's not too bad. I... Tiger Rock Station, debris proximity, debris bloody everywhere. Obviously, as I said in the previous episode, staying on the highway is going to be your friend if you can. But I'm not that worried. I haven't run into a great deal of um, debris. It's more other vehicles that I've run into. Right, slow it down. Alright, someone's also commented and said that we can pretty much every can pretty much just drive straight in. Okay, onto this gate, you dumbass. Thank you though. Right, someone said you can drive straight in. Sometimes there's not a great deal of room, but you can always drive straight in. Like we should be able to drive straight in here and then sneak out the other side. Right, perfect. Straight in. Drop trailer off. Careful driving early delivery. 2,500 plus 500 bonus XP. Beautiful. Right, let's head over to Tiger Rock Station. I know it's 68 degrees, but I'm not sure if that's a massive issue or not. Now, Tiger Rock, do you guys actually have somewhere I can purchase things from? Like a job board and that sort of stuff. Got a job board. Is there... No, there's nowhere I can purchase anything from. I mean, we're not short... On batteries or anything. We've still got one battery left. Actually, we're going to need batteries, aren't we? Um, there's nowhere to buy anything from here. Which is a bummer. We have to go to the Goodman Tower, I believe. Uh-oh. Your mileage threshold has been reached and your warranty has now expired. You are no longer eligible for free recovery and repairs. Hey, hey! Looks like your warranty is down and gone. All right, good. Good news. Now we can get you some real style. Swing by my buddy's paint shop. All right, so we need to head back to Atlas Primes. He'll hook you up with a slick new look. Yeah, copy that. Thank you. All right, um, yeah, head to Goodman Tower. See if we can get some batteries, cargo. Um, you see, the temperature's still still flashing, but I don't think it's. I don't think I'm getting hurt by it. I'm not even sure if it'll even. If it does come up like I'm getting injured or not, I'm not 100% sure. Right, yeah, we're definitely going to need some more batteries for the mag lock. try and grab some extra cargo as well. Alright. Line ourselves up best we can. It's not straight, but get back close enough we can just hopefully line it up. It's not giving us an alert to say we're not straight enough, so that's fine. And the other suggestion people have said is whenever you're at the mag lock like we are now, now's the time to change your oxygen and all the batteries and stuff that you may need. Um, all right, containers, cleaning supplies, electronic kits, anything that's down, not down a great deal.
Evening wear card and so clothing. It come down. I don't know if it comes. Is that count as clothing or what? Um, I think I'm just going to go the cheaper battery cells. Um, quickly check. Atlas Prime. Any girls, food and drink, electronic, producer six, electronics, energy, general, yeah, general goods are down there as well. Oh, textiles. Okay, so we need textiles. Right, we don't need to worry about that. Right, so... We'll grab this box. I will drop it just there. That bounce off there, that's fine. Open the... Open the door. Oh. No. Oh. No. Jesus. Oh, that can go. Just there. That's the old one. That's sitting at 240. I wonder if it's going to get any more damage if it bounces off a few things in there. Right there, 250. So this is where we should have... Um, because we're hooked up to here, we shouldn't have to use our own gravity. But gravity should already be there. We're hooked up to their station. Right, now we need to try and get a job back to Atlas Prime. If we can. I'll shut this door and I'll sell this other power. Alright, so 48 bucks. Um, it's down a bit because of the the um, HP, obviously, but it is what it is. Right, meal packs. There's no just empty containers, which sucks. All right, confirm trade. Right, let's go and try and grab something from the job box, the job network, whatever you want to call it. All right. All the way from here. Where's the job board? Uh, where are you, job board? That's fuel. I'm not sure where the job board actually is. Should be down here, shouldn't it? Maybe there's no job board over here. Maybe we could go back over to, um, over there where the job boards are. Apparently there are some places that don't have job boards. So we need to keep an eye on that as well. If we're going into a certain system. See if there's actually a job board in there. But there's no job board here that I can see. Let's go back to Tiger Rock Station. Right, done. Refuel. Still got 8,000. So it's definitely... The grind early on is definitely... Pretty crazy. We made two and a half grand. We just brought... 1,500 bucks worth of batteries. We just filled up... With Thing. So that last delivery, we've made nothing off because we've just spent all the bloody money. But um, it is what it is, I suppose. Yeah, there's no job board there. So it must be all the way over here. It's the only spot we can get jobs from. Right, make sure we don't run into the side of this thing. Head over to Tiger Rock Station. Watch out for debris along the way. So I want to make sure I've got extra empty cargo containers for if we find anything out in space. Right, so there's certainly some debris over here. Right, we're absolutely flying. 220. There's the job board. Right, be very careful here not to fly in and slam the bloody thing sideways. Alright, back this way. Let's rotate our truck. Go down and then left will get us lined up. So if you want to go down, you got to go up. If you want to go left, you push left. If you want to push, go right, you push right. So that's pretty good. It's just a matter of getting used to how the buttons all work when you're looking at the camera from here. The rear camera from in the cab. Right, so we're going to go from here to Atlas Prime. Uh, 
emerald to junk, emerald to edgeback, emerald to purity, emerald to purity, purity, purity. Okay, so. Edgeburg or Purity? Could probably... Actually, we can, go, we can just go to the junk fields if you want, can't we? We don't have to follow the storyline. I think I want to go to the junk fields. See what that's all about. Right, so another quick job. No. Yeah, it's only 7.46, but it is what it is. We'll take this job. Pick up synthetic lever from TR01 Bay and head to the junk fields. Right, so where is. Cargo's there. Look at the map. Get rid of that. Okay, we're going to head to the junk fields. Hoping we can actually um, jump to the junk junk fields. Get out of the way, you idiot! Get out of the way, asshole! I've already ran into enough of these dudes without having to run into bloody another one. All right, I'm like all over the shop at the moment. Let's go. Start to slow down. So I haven't played this game enough to get used to everything. I'll try and line ourselves up and then we will look at here. Yeah. Right, that arsehole's going to get in our way. I think he's inspecting or re repairing. Might be a little repair drone, that one. Definitely need to get over here because of the heat. Alright, nice and close. Come on. Itch. Alright, let's go. Head straight to the junk fields. Watch out for the junk in front of us. There's lots of junk in front of us, actually. Alright, 150. I don't know where the bloody highway is here. There is even a highway. I don't think there is a highway. 4.7 k's of dodging. Shut up. I know. Not even going that way, love. She's very annoying. Another screenshot. Just in case. Alright, so we'll head straight this way. There's a lot of debris around. Looks like I'm missing most of it. Oh, still give me the debris warning. Another truck just there. Still an absolutely beautiful game. The game is absolutely gorgeous. I absolutely love it. Right, so mag locks are draining quite a bit. 27, 29 percent. They're driving it, draining at 63 percent per hour. So, from what I've read, most of you guys have commented saying that you agree that the batteries drain way too quick. Um, so, the solutions I've got for it, other people are just like, no, they just drain too quick. And obviously, depending on what level of difficulty you play, if you play hardcore, I think your batteries are going to drain a little bit quicker. Than if you played on the easier level so if you don't want it to be all about battery saving grinding whatever you want to call it then i suggest just put on the easiest level no one's gonna think you you know you're soft or whatever because you're on the easy level it's certainly not um not an easy game to play managing all your power and everything else Another quick screenshot of that. Off you go, buddy. My turn. Alright. Get ourselves stopped. And yeah, jump to the junk fields. This is going to be interesting in the junk fields, I think.
All right, we're here. Oh, drop zone's right here, but look at all the junk. Wow. That is crazy. Screenshot of that. Look at all this junk flying around. I don't know if there's actually... If you go into here, there's only a repair place here. Um, a body shop. That is it. There's nowhere to even get a job from. Just a purely a drop-off zone. That body shop over there, Emerald Junction. Not a great deal to do over here, which I guess is to be expected. It's just pure junk. Not much here, nothing exciting. There is trailers here though, but there's just no job board to get trailers out. Like, how are they going to get back? I mean, I guess you probably accept a job from another area to grab a trailer from here to go out. So is that another thing? Can we have two jobs at the same time? Can I pick up a trailer, bring it here, but then also have a job booked in to take a trailer away from here? Not sure. I don't think so, but that would be good if we could. All right, base contract, 500 XP, 1, 182, a little bit of extra money. Nearly at level 6, which is awesome. Now we've got a head back to Atlas Prime, so we're going to go back to Emerald Junction. We're going to have to head around this way and um, get out of here pretty much. But right out, guys. Hopefully you guys did enjoy this episode. If you guys did, as always, smash that like button. If you guys got any ideas, suggestions, places we should and shouldn't go to just yet, ways to, I don't know, Conserve power, get a bit of extra money faster. Let me know, leave it down in the comments section below. If you guys are new to the channel and haven't subscribed yet, guys, please do so. It's been Brito, thanks for watching. We'll see you again soon.